starting off my morning with some coffee and some reading by the window. There's actually some sun today that is visible, so that's a good sign. It means there's a little less smoke because the last few days it's just been like completely gray. I'm trying to read instead of being on my phone and drink a little bit of coffee and then I'm going to get to my laptop and start getting to some emails and catching up from the weekend, so cheers. I don't have any videos edited today, so I think I'm gonna focus this morning after I finish my emails on working on the presidential management fellow studying it is i think in two weeks from now so i want to be as prepared as possible so I, I talked about it more in my last vlog if you didn't watch that but basically i'm just applying for a fellowship that requires you to pass an assessment to be qualified as a finalist before you can like be a part of it so anyway um i'm just trying to study and prepare myself ahead of time for this i'm wearing my blue light glasses from felix gray since i'm looking at screens most of the day i also need to send my manager a couple of pictures so that's what's up for this morning i will show you when i do something else but i don't know if it'll be that interesting <laughs> to one particular Taylor Swift song and I searched Taylor Swift fall and I found this playlist called Taylor Swift invented fall I agree <laughs> okay you guys I've been staring at my laptop far too long I just put on my mask and put in my airpods because I think I'm gonna go for a walk air quality still not optimal optimal but it's definitely better than it has been so I've been avoiding spending a lot of time outside for sure um but I'm just gonna go for a little walk because like I really just want to move my legs so yeah, it'll probably just be a quick walk, just a little refresher, so let's go. Okay, so I just got this in the mail, a water filter. I've never considered myself to be a water snob by any means. I think I grew very accustomed to New York tap water, because all I drink in my apartment in New York is tap water. and. I think New York tap water is really, really good as far as tap waters go. And coming back here, my sister was like, don't drink tap water. It just doesn't taste good. <laughs> my sister has a zero filter, which is a water filter. Anyway, so I've been using this since I got here. I drink a ton of water and the last few days, like last week, I noticed it started to taste kind of like, like lemony and I was like something's up so I tasted the tap water and it didn't have that flavor so I knew it's coming from the filter and I googled it and apparently it means it's trying to change your zero filters look how massive this filter is <laughs> all is well okay that's the thing about this filter though is because it's so hardcore heavy duty it like takes a while for the water to filter through it so we're gonna let this one drain fill it again, and then put it in the fridge to cool down. Let me know if you guys have a zero filter, if you like it. Honestly, it does definitely improve the taste, especially for LA water, no offense. Definitely good to get lead out of your water. Listening to a podcast, yeah, and I'm about to make totally this hella fresh dinner. Yeah. Maple chicken, sure. yum. Someone on next pose, next outfit. Just realize that that's what I'm, just because to me, like that's a public basket. I didn't use the breadcrumbs, but I'm gonna put the like hot honey mixture over it. I'm not sure how hot it's gonna be. Ooh, or not honey, it's um maple syrup. You guys need to see this? Yeah, it's me, Gail, from Seattle Coffee Gear, hiding <laughs> behind the- <laughs> I don't know why, but that's so funny. Yeah, it's me, Gail. Anyway, I was just looking at how to use this espresso maker because I want to try it today I think so I did my workout this morning I just showered I'm about to get ready a little bit and I want to make an espresso so I bought some ground espresso already I'm gonna try this maybe steam up some oat milk and it'll be good but anyway I'm in the meantime I'm getting ready Sierra's gonna come over and we have some podcast planning and work to do so that'll be fun and you're not alone and have that good 
energy. And then our next one is track. Okay, everyone, Sierra is here now. Hey, gang. We're gonna fill this thing. Okay, we're gonna use the espresso machine. I'm pretty sure Sierra doesn't even like espresso. It doesn't work well for you, does it? It hurts my tum tum, so well, I don't think I can have it. She's here for the moral support of me trying it because I told her I was afraid to do it alone in case I burned out the house. <laughs> I'm just like very hungry. And I Could you eat before you came? Not really. Um, I have this espresso, Illy. Oh, did you hear that? Uh -huh. Oh, it smells like coffee strong. Gasmetto. Hello, Gas everyone. Um, okay, so I think we put one of these guys in here. You say you already watched a video on this? Well, I tried, but Gail just really got me distracted. Oh, okay, so this thing's already in there. We're listening to some nice coffee shop fall jazz as well. I just made a mess anyway. Okay. Well, some things just can't be prevented. Yeah, okay, that's true. Are you feeling strong? I'm ready. You really strong? Shut up. Oh, that is... <laughs> I, know, I told you. That is... What is that made of? Iron Man. Iron? I feel like the guy in Green God's Bank that does the stamp. Boom. Stamp! <laughs> so what you do... I worked at a um, coffee bar one time, you guys. You just press it down, pack it in, and look at that. Wow, it's so smooth. Nice and flat. Oh, it's on. It's blinking. I don't even know why I'm here. I'm doing absolutely nothing. I know, but I just need the moral support in case it catches on fire. Rah, rah, because she's great. She's going to make good coffee today. Yeah, pretty. Go, pretty. Two shot glasses, coffee shots. Rah, rah. Okay, here we go. Double shots blinking. Actually, wait. I think you're supposed to wait until it's solid. Oh, solid. <laughs> whoa, Gail taught me that. Ask and you shall receive. Woo! Does double shot mean one in each cup? Yes, because they have two little spouts, so it'll go separate. Or if you put it in one cup on there, then it would put just put two shots in your cup. But that's just uh, freaking common sense. Oh, that's it? It's frothy. Yeah, look at that. Do have to do it again? Maybe it takes two hits. Oh, I already did. Just refresh. Oh. Oh my god, my sister has a wolf watch mug. You know what that is? That's the Teen Wolf after show. Okay, so I think we needed to press the steam button. Because now it's just squirting again. Like that? Ready? Do the honors. We Renegade, finally crossed the milk. Renegade. Is this even going to taste like coffee? That's so little. It's so little. Ready? Well, that's what you wanted, right? Yeah. Are you doing a butt? A heart? Oh, a, 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 a it's heart. Pica it's Picasso. It looks like a... Um, Stethoscope. Oh, it's hotter than I thought. Yeah, dude. It does just taste like warm milk, but. <laughs> oh. Okay, after much trial and error, we finally completed the oat milk latte. And I'd say it's half decent. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it tasted like a latte you'd order. Mmm, I never make oh, lattes. What's missing to me is like vanilla, because I always get like a vanilla latte. Yeah, it's not sweet, but. So it's, more it's like, good. Uh, savory, I guess. But mm -hmm. it's now it's fall. Have some hot coffees, some hot drinks. Cheers. I'm watching The Social Dilemma, which is a new documentary on Netflix about kind of our um, addiction to social media. And anyway, I'm also making dinner. Um, I just cooked up the rest of the sweet potatoes that I didn't cook last night, and I'm gonna heat up my leftovers from HelloFresh. How could you? everything we know about the psychology of what persuades people and build that into technology. I'm going to Trader Joe's with Sierra soon and we're going to get some fall stuff. We're going to do some fun fall activities today. I think we're going to paint pumpkins. Also, I got a lot of comments on a recent vlog. I think it was when I was touring around that co-working space and I know that I'm really not good at holding the camera still, especially when I'm with other people. Like when I'm talking to someone while I'm vlogging, I don't like looking at the camera. Like I look at them and then when I'm like walking around, I know that I'm not good at it. But I also realized, let's see if this is better. I realized that the, there was a setting on my camera where it wasn't on the highest frames per second. So if you know cameras, you know that means like tracking, like movement and stuff. If you have it on lower frames per second, it's like gonna be more blurred because it's not capturing as many frames in the movement. Hopefully this is better. I put it up to the highest frames per second. So in combination with my shaky ass filming skills, hopefully it's more tolerable. This is at 60 frames per second. This is the highest one. So if I swing it back and forth, like it's still not great. Like you still don't wanna get motion sick, but let me change it and then show you guys what it looks like. This is what it was at, which is half the frames per second, 30 frames per second 
when I would move it back and forth. So do you see the difference in how it's like more blurred and more motion sick inducing perhaps? Now I'm gonna go back and hopefully we'll have less blurriness. We'll see how it goes when I'm filming a Trader Joe's. Wow, look at all those pumpkins. Look at all those chickens. And they even have little string lights. Are you trying to get more white ones? Well, that'd be cute to paint one. Yeah, you could have a painting competition. These ones look really good too. I get, no, I think I'm gonna get one of these guys. Little orange one. Yeah, I mean, I put these all like on every available surface in my house. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to look for like the little brooms. I didn't see any of them. I didn't see, well, we didn't go through all the aisles. Oh well. Anyway, here's their little pumpkin ahead, setup. Very cute. We are each gonna get one of the pumpkin pie ones and then we're gonna paint one of these guys too. Okay guys, we made it back. I got a few pumpkin food things and we got our pumpkins to paint. So, first of all, gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. Yum. We got some vegan butter to make we're actually gonna make these that I bought last time, which is also at Trader Joe's. We the pumpkin water. bread and nothing oh, else. We have a lot just going on. We also got, look how cute these are. The Gourd Tree Pumpkin Ciders. So this packaging, he's so cute. Two little white pumpkins, a little orange guy. I don't even know where I'm gonna put these. Probably just like on the table. A white and orange. I got some berries but it's autumn maple coffee cups, so I couldn't resist, I really wanted to try. Oh, this is the ginger brew, wait, show us, pumpkin pie ginger brew sparkling beverage. We're gonna try this, it'll be yum. I just got a couple groceries, like turkey bacon, chicken. This I couldn't resist, it does have a little bit of milk. Last year I got the pumpkin, what was it? Oh, the pumpkin butter, but I wanted to try this one, even though it has a little dairy, because I think it'd be really good, and just, when else can I get this, you know? So cinnamon bun spread. I thought I had nuts for some reason, but it doesn't, so. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's our fall Ooh, that water stuff. Yeah, it's very good. We're gonna record for the podcast, paint some pumpkins, drink some cidery things, and have a grand old time. And bake. And I bake. Can't fit all this in. I don't know, we have a lot of things to do. I mean, it smells like- <laughs> Like dessert. Like pastry, yeah. <laughs> yeah, as our um, pre-podcast recording, Sugar Rush, we put some cinnamon bun spread on I'm a pumpkin bagel. I'm scared that I'm gonna this and then I'm gonna want more, but this really is like milky, so I can't, but. Oh my god. Is it that good? Wait, it, <laughs> it tastes like straight caramel. Oh, I'm sure. It smells like caramel. Ooh, I'm gonna try. But warm. Tastes like, like That's like a melted caramel apple yeah, without the apple. apple, yeah. Is our sound good? Testing? I feel like I seems. just introduced. I thought so too, but this is an even number. Technically, because this is number 10. Oh. Episode of Fingers Crossed. Five, six, seven, eight. You were late. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fingers Crossed, the podcast with the hosts with the most. That's us. Oh <laughs> my, my name is God. Christy. And I'm Sierra. Hello. And we are back again to talk your ear off on this wonderful Tuesday or whatever day you're listening to this. But in case you weren't aware, we do post them every Tuesday. So subscribe if you're not already. But it is all about the um, struggles with growing up kind of on social media and what we all go through with the problems with comparison and maybe some toxicity. It wasn't immediate, but a few minutes later, the smoke detector starts blaring. And this is at like 11 p.m. in this building. Bam, bam. Wow, just look at him. E.T. is really thriving in our margarine. We found E.T. Why is E.T. in our margarine? Never We're being so away. fall and cute as shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're painting pumpkins and watching Garfield's Halloween special. I'm trying to dry the bottom right now, but I can't set it on anything, so I'm just holding it. Really, my arm workout. Just use some like lateral raises. <laughs> oh my god, look at Odie. Oh, there's a beast roaring. I'm afraid. I don't want to die like my father did. How'd her father die? Oh my god, she's gonna go find the dwarves! To the dwarves! Okay, so it's the next morning after pumpkin painting, and this is how mine turned out. It's, eh. I had this vision in my head, and then I added the silver, and then, I don't know. It's just like, whatever. It was fun to paint it, so I'm glad we did that. Like that. And I have this big pumpkin, I'm not sure where he's gonna stay put. But I have these little guys, too, that I think I'm gonna put on the table. So... 
maybe they do need to be on top of something. Okay, yeah, my interior decorating skills need help. I'll put them somewhere. This is not a final placing. But yeah, so it's the next morning. I'm gonna have some coffee and do some work get to um, more practice questions for the PMF test and editing this video. So, cheers to that.